Jin Kui, my name is Chris, and I brought my gypsy tears. Welcome to Shift, brought to you by the magic of Murphy.com. Yekshemesh. Hello ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, welcome to The Shift once again. I hope you guys enjoyed that little funky intro. That was me and my buddies, my homies, jamming. So I thought that was cool. Before we get into the deal, I want to announce the winner of last week's contest. We had a Q&A contest. Q to the A. And the winner is, and there was a lot of cool questions. I wish I could like picked one question here and one question there, but I guess we'll get to that in another episode. So the winner of this week is Sean McCarthy. Congratulations, Sean. You won last week's prize, and we'll get that out to you. Just send us your information through the Facebook. Sean writes, how would you describe your magic in one word? That's a tough question. For instance, if you were to ask my family, they'd probably say something like annoying. Horrible, childish, immature. Good thing we're not asking them, because I think it's awesome. So awesome. What is the first trick you learned? That's that's a simple question. Um, my first the first trick that I learned was my grandfather showed me the old rubbing the coin in your arm and then it's gone illusion, and it would always somehow, you know, appear in my ear. I never could figure out why my grandfather would hide his change in my ear. My biggest inspiration in magic. Uh, who is my biggest inspiration? That's a tough question because I do drive my inspiration, uh, I do derive it from a lot of different artists and a lot of different magicians and also, you know, actors and whatnot. So, who's my favorite magician? Inspiration? I would say I would say that probably the biggest constant is Darren Brown. I think he always he doesn't just inspire me with his magic or his mentalism or his illusions, but mostly uh, I think and I speak for a lot of magicians. He inspires me with his performance and his showmanship. You know, obviously Darren has a lot of very crafty, very uh, creative people working for him to create these illusions. However, I think without Darren's personality, none of these would be conveyed as as interestingly or as entertainingly as they are uh, when they're performed by Darren. So, Darren Brown, thank you to everyone for writing the questions and next week's contest remains the same. I want you guys to pick two or three questions that you could ask me and I will answer them once again on next episode. This week on The Deal, we're looking at two products. First off, we have 1% by Yuho Jin-san. Yuho Jin, 1%. If you're not familiar with Yuho Jin, check him out on YouTube. Type in Yuho Jin and you will see probably one of the most mind-blowingly impossible manipulation routines with cards. It's one of those videos that you look at like when you see him perform and you're like, you either want to give it all you got and continue in magic or you just want to give up like he's that good. You're just like, well, screw this. I'm done. I'm out. You kidding me? Nope. I'm over here doing like a color change and he's 
I, I firmly believe that Yuho Jin is a sorcerer. And secondly, we're going to look at the At The Table Live lecture with Chris Mayhew. And the reason I want to bring that up is because they've changed the studio, they've reformatted the whole experience. So I thought it was worth looking into, and especially Chris Mayhew, who's a, not only a comedic genius, but he's actually a great thinker and a great creator, so we'll have a look at that as well. So we're going to start by passing it over to Bao, Bao Huang, who is a good friend of mine. I decided to hand out projects left and right to a bunch of my friends. Uh, as you know, we had Spidey review a mentalism effect because he's a working mentalist. I have Bao, who's going to uh, review the Manipulation DVD because Bao actually dabbles quite a bit in Manipulation, so it's coming from a place, a more knowledgeable place uh, than if I were to review it. And I do have some other special guests that are going to be appearing in and out on the shift to help me, you know, with the product. So let's check out Bao and his review on 1% by Yu Ho Jin. Hey guys, my name is Bao and I'll be talking about 1% by Yu Ho Jin. So what you get is two DVDs by Yu Ho Jin, the grand prize Grand Prix winner in 2012 of the FISM. So this is a DVD for beginners, if you're Asian. I would say that you should have a bit of basic card, um, card manipulation knowledge before starting to learn all this stuff. The way he teaches, like most, if you're, you're familiar with the all the Asian manipulation DVDs, it's, it's, it's mostly slowed down video explanations. So just a bit of subtitles if you really need it, but most of the time it'll just slow down and you'll have to replay a lot. So play the DVD on your computer, it'll help, it'll be much easier for you. See, see this DVD as, an, in, as enrichment for card manipulation. Bao, can you tell us a little bit about what the two DVDs are like, what's on the first one and what's on the second one. Okay, so the first DVD is, um, is more the, he, he calls it the basic and the professional stuff. So in the basic section you'll see most of the stuff that you could see on in books or other DVDs. Um, but I'm sure you'll, I actually learned new stuff in those sections. So back palm, a spinning production, perfect production. There's the longitudinal. Stuff. Is that how you say it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's um, there, there's many stuff that you might find in other sources, but um, it's all in there for you. In the second disc, he shows all his original stuff, also a workshop. So that's very interesting. He has a workshop where he talks about he talks about his thoughts on performance, um, on practicing, and on choosing your music. A lot of stuff that's related to your performance and how you practice. He even tells you how a way to practice. It's a, it's a week long a way to practice every day. And if you don't see any improvement from day one till day seven, then he would guarantee money back. All right guys, that was the review. So thank you you guys for watching the review of 1%. And thank you Yu Ho Jin. Come sum it up. Hey doggy. Do you wanna buy wanna see some cards? No? Was, was that your card? No? Okay. So that was Bao. Yeah, I know, right? My fingers hurt just from watching that. Good job, Bao. Next up we have one of my favorite magicians and one of the funniest guys I've ever met is Chris Mayhew who's put on a At The Table Live lecture and sort of laying it all out there. So check out my performance from one of my favorite effects from this live lecture. Um, I, think the, I think the name of the routine is called Questions. So have a look at me performing questions. We'll talk a little bit more about the experience. Check it out. Sir, if you would kindly touch a card, anyone. This one here? Yeah, that one. Okay, you got it. We'll have a look at this card. Now it's interesting is that the card you chose actually does say a lot about you. The King of Diamonds, a very strong card, but the fact that you chose that King of Diamonds between the, the four the four and the six um, is, is, is it's very 
important uh, for some reason. You know what? We're not even sure, we're not even exactly sure if this card that is here is in fact your card. That is just another question that we have yet to have answered. Quite the conundrum. In fact, if I just riffle down the deck here, something happens. Another question appears. Could this be your card? Oh, what do we have here? Another question emerges, and the plot thickens. Perhaps that is your card, that is the question. In fact, let's ask one more question of this mysterious pack of cards. If we put the six and four in here somewhere, and push it in, actually another card emerges. Perhaps another question, perhaps now this time. This is your card. Now. We could know for sure by looking at them, but that wouldn't be any fun, would it? Because this here is definitely your card. The King of Diamonds, the strong card, which you chose in the beginning. But what's even more interesting is that you chose it between the four and the six. Now that truly is a mystery. Because now, your card between the four There you have it, that is the answer. Now it's up to you to figure out what the question was. So that was Questions by Chris Mayhew, performed by myself. I watched the lecture last week, so I've been dabbling with this effect and played around with it a little bit. Obviously, I think the patter wasn't on point, probably because there was nobody to interact with. I should probably get somebody next time, so my apologies. Let's talk about let's talk about the whole experience as a whole. What is the at the table and why is it different? Well, first of all, it's hosted by a good friend, Mike Hankins. If you don't know Mike, he's equally as funny and as creative. He's hilarious, and I think I think when you bring somebody into the studio to have that sort of camaraderie uh, go with the artist and the, and the one who's hosting the show, really comes across as a fun experience for the viewer. Not only are you learning, but you're enjoying your learning experience, so that's really cool. Chris is a bloody genius. Man, he's he, everything he does is comedic gold. I could watch this guy not only perform magic, but he could just talk about anything and I'd be in stitches. He's so funny. Chris has performed his one-man show off-Broadway in New York, and that got rave reviews, so... You get a little bit of that, you get a lot of sleight of hand stuff, a lot of trickery, subtleties with uh, cards. I think there's something for everybody. He's got those intense move monkey things. He shows this one way to, I've, I've not got it down, so I won't show you, um, but he's got a way of having the card lost in the middle, and now it's or brought to the bottom, it appears in the middle and then it appears on top and it's their selection and it's so visual but it does require some practice so I'm probably gonna give that a go. One thing they did add which was really sweet was if you're unsure about what the live lectures are or what they contain the first 20 minutes are now free and there's a link on the Murphy's Facebook page I believe you can check that out I'll even leave the link in the description you can have the first 20 minutes of a lecture free so you're getting freebies there's no reason why you wouldn't tune in you get free access to magic live from the lecturer, which is awesome. And if you find it interesting enough, then you can go ahead and uh, and buy the rest of the lecture or sign up for the whole month, which is a very, very cheap thing. I think they're like 10 bucks a pop for four lectures, which is astounding. What Chris taught was great. He was so generous giving away a lot of his, a lot of his material, a lot of his jokes. And if you don't know, Chris Mayhew uh, that well. You might you might know him for more of his sleight of hand stuff and everything, but something that I've found out about Chris is that he's actually very, very knowledgeable and well versed in magic. So not only is he a working performer, he's done restaurants, he's done all that, but he has a lot to to add on the psychological aspect and on the performance aspect that you wouldn't normally expect from his downloads or products. So it was really refreshing just to hear Chris kind of chat about these type of things that normally uh, you wouldn't have access to. That really did it for me. I wouldn't have gotten that anywhere else unless you sat down with Chris yourself. So that was really, really cool. So good job on the, the live lecture, Chris. And I think that'll be available. If not, it probably already is available 
and I'll have a link in the description where you can either download or buy the DVD of Chris's live lecture. I want to thank you guys for tuning in this week and stay tuned for next week. I will catch you guys on the flip side. All right, peace out.